What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the eval built-in function in Python 3. So let's take a quick look at the docs. Eval takes three arguments, an expression, which needs to be a string, and two optional arguments, which are globals and locals. Basically, these two optional arguments are related to built-ins generally and how we use uh, different built-in methods inside that string and inside the eval function. I'll show you what that looks like a bit later on. For now, let's get started with just a normal eval function without the two optional arguments. So basically we need to pass a string. If we do not, uh, if we try to pass empty or a number, something like that, it'll tell you that our first argument needs to be a string or I guess a bytes or code object as well, but we're just going to keep it to a string. So if you pass say a negative one, you know, you'll get that and you can start building this up and making little expressions to evaluate. Right, so five plus negative one will be four. Uh, five times negative one will be negative five. And you could even say create a variable, so x equals 10. And then we could do say x plus negative one is gonna be what? That's gonna be nine. So from here we can build it up and use uh, other built-in functions and other things inside it. So say with ABS or absolute, that'll turn that negative one to one, or you could say uh, print and throw in a little hello world in here, and that'll print out hello world. And notice how that, you know, we're not including this uh, print thing. It's like really evaluating the expression. All right, so we know that, you know, we can run this built-in function inside it and it'll evaluate. But what happens when we add the global? So the most common one I see is this built-ins none expression that people use. And let's see what happens. So none type object is not subscriptable. So this kind of might not make sense, but here's what it's doing. It's basically removing all of the built-in functions that are accessible to the eval. And so it just doesn't have the ABS anymore. So again, we can remove this um, and run it again and it's gonna work, or we can add the built-ins and it's not gonna work. And so let's uh, build this up with our local argument now. So we can add our local argument of ABS and basically we're gonna add back this built-in function. So we re removed all of them. We removed ABS, print, everything, and we're gonna add back ABS. So this is gonna be the only one that's available to it. And that's gonna work. That's gonna give us our one. But what if say uh, we tried to go back and print something out here, right? So we try to do print, um, let's say hello world, world. That's not gonna work because you know we have ABS here, but we don't have the print here. So what you could do is switch the ABS for print and boom, we're able to print again because we added back that print. And just to make this super clear, um, so, so now we only have a uh, print in our locals. If I then, you know, switch this back and wanted to do the ABS again, that's not going to work. So ABS negative one, see, that's not going to work. So, uh, the general idea is we removed all of the built-in functions and then we can add back the ones that we want.